the top 20 dog breeds you may want to avoid, as lovable as they are. There are numerous dog breeds in existence, each with a distinct appearance, function, and personality. While many individuals believe they desire a particular breed, they occasionally discover that the dog they initially thought was incredibly fascinating is difficult to live with. This is why so many trainers and rescue organizations advise new owners to steer clear of particular breeds. Many breeds are growing in popularity based solely on appearance, but they frequently end up in shelters because their inexperienced owners can't control them. Here are 12 breeds to avoid unless you're really ready that you might think you might like. Number 1. Border Collie Due to its success in the working sectors, the Border Collie is becoming more and more popular among households with pets. They are smart dogs who require a job, so despite being excellent at cool tricks, they also need to be out herding, completing agility challenges, or practicing competitive obedience in order to be happy. Despite their diminutive size, they have much more drive and intensity than the normal owner would anticipate from a dog. Number 2. Belgian Malinois since the media reported that the Belgian Malinois was the breed that assisted in the death of Osama bin Laden, it has grown in popularity. The Malinois is undoubtedly the most adaptable police and military working dog, but it is also a dog that need a task. The breed is almost entirely bred for defense jobs, and because of its drive, intensity, and violent instincts, it would make a terrible pet. Number 3, Dutch Shepherd. Many of the characteristics of the Belgian Malinois are also present in the Dutch Shepherd which is a well-liked police and military working dog. If left unoccupied, these dogs will not only become destructive but also potentially violent and challenging to control. Number 4, Patterdale Terrier. Although they share similar characteristics with many other pet terriers, Patterdale Terriers are significantly more intense creatures and are growing in popularity among terrier hunters. Despite being little, they are almost solely bred for work, and in the wrong hands, they can be a huge liability. Number 5, Siberian Husky. Despite the Siberian Husky's beauty, inexperienced owners who are often looking for a dog to lounge about with all day sometimes find themselves in over their heads with one. These dogs were developed to be endurance runners, so if they don't get a lot of exercise and the right kind of training, they may be quite challenging to live with. Number 6, Australian Cattle Dog. The Australian Cattle Dog is a herding breed designed to control cattle, thus they are quite confident and have very strong personalities. The breed may be quite challenging for first-time owners, who frequently end up in shelters after receiving considerably more dogs than they had anticipated. Number 7, Dalmatian. A working dog originally developed as a carriage dog, the Dalmatian hails from Croatia. They are large, powerful, and exuberant dogs that require a lot of training and exercise to stay well-behaved home visitors. Although they are quite attractive, Dalmatians require a lot of care, and many owners are unaware of this until it is too late. Number 8, Akita. Large Japanese dogs called Akitas have a striking look and a disposition that most owners find difficult to deal with. They are fiercely aloof, suspicious of strangers, devoted to their owners, and guardians of their possessions. Due to the breed's high degree of independence and intolerance to excessive attention, children should be kept away from it. Number 9, Weimaraner. The Weimaraner is an extremely energetic German hunting dog with an unquestionably stunning coat color. Unfortunately, the owner doesn't know how strong and energetic these dogs are until it's too late. Weimaraners are typically too robust to be around youngsters and require a lot of activity and training to keep them stimulated and simple to live within the house. Number 10, Airedale Terrier. The largest of the terrier breeds, the Airedale, has been employed as a working and hunting dog. The breed can be challenging to handle for a new owner because it is independent and bright but is frequently labeled as stubborn. Number 11, Australian Shepherd. The Australian Shepherd is a stunning canine that competes in a variety of dog sports. This does demonstrate the breed's intelligence and appeal, but it also highlights their high level of activity and requirement for employment. Lack of a suitable outlet for their need to work will cause the breed to act erratically and destructively. Number 12, Skipperkey. The Skipperkey is a herding dog that resembles a Belgian Spitz. Despite being little, the breed is difficult for a new owner to handle. Shipperkeys can be challenging to train because of their tenacity and independence. Despite their size, they are still very energetic dogs who require sufficient exercise to lead typical pet lives. Number 13, Korean Jindo. One of the few Korean breeds that are still somewhat uncommon in the United States is the Korean Jindo. That said, they are beautiful dogs that do attract attention to those who meet them. Since they were bred to be hunting dogs, they still have a lot of the prey drive required for the job. 
they do not do well near other small animals because of this, even dogs. Many dog owners would like their dogs to be social butterflies, but Jindos are highly independent and not like that. Number 14, Rhodesian Ridgeback. The Rhodesian Ridgeback is an African hunting dog that is big and strong. Despite being friendly and devoted to its family, the breed can be distant and even leery of outsiders. They still possess the tenacity required to take on large animals like lions and wild pigs despite having historically been used as guard dogs and hunting dogs. Number 15, Catahoula Leopard Dog. The stunning Catahoula Leopard Dog is a native of Louisiana. The breed was initially developed for wild boar hunting, and it still does so today. They are therefore big, strong, and independent dogs that require a skilled owner to control. Number 16, Great Danes. The charming and gentle giants known as Great Danes are remarkable. Their popularity has skyrocketed recently. What starts out as a sweet dog quickly develops into a miniature horse. Danes, sadly, have extremely brief lifespans, as little as five years. Because of this, potential owners must be prepared to deal with health difficulties quite early in life. Number 17, Bulldogs, who doesn't adore a bulldog squished adorably beautiful face. But sadly, due to their short snouts, Bulldogs have a lot of health problems. These puppies have a reputation for being among the hardest dogs to train. Number 18, Irish Wolfhounds. Irish Wolfhounds were initially developed to hunt wolves, as you would have imagined. Because of their extremely high prey drive for other animals, this enormous breed can be quite a bother. It also has a limited lifespan of only 5 to 7 years, similar to other large breeds. Number 19, Sharpays. A very assertive owner is necessary for Chinese Sharpays. This canine leader can become bored easily. They also frequently form strong bonds with just one individual, which can present significant difficulties. Their lovely and distinctive skin folds can also pose health risks, such as persistent skin diseases. Number 20, Bull Mastiffs. Bull Mastiffs are dedicated and fiercely guard dogs. To defend their families, they would willingly give their life. They can, however, quickly overwhelm a novice owner who isn't prepared to be firm because they weigh more over 100 pounds. They require limits that are well defined as puppies. In addition, they must always be kept on a leash due to their intense prey drive. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and ring that bell.